Hey everyone, Simon and Alex here with Top Tennis Training. And in this video, we're gonna give you one vital tip on your one-handed backhand, and in particular, the use of the non-hitting hand. So the role of that non-hitting hand is all about helping you on the preparation phase and the hitting phase of the shot. Now for the preparation phase, it helps you take the racket back and create space between you and the ball, as well as load up the power. You store the energy that you can release into the shot during the contact phase. So when you're waiting for the ball, you should be in a ready position with both hands on the racket. Now as your one-hander, your left hand will be slightly higher up the racket, hopefully on the throat of the racket, make it easy for you to switch between grips. Now all you do here is you push with your thumb and you pull with your fingers to open the racket and show the racket face away from you. Now before we go any deeper into this lesson, if you're serious about improving all aspects of your game, then make sure you have subscribed to the channel and you turn on that notification bell. Now here, as I'm taking the racket back and the strings are facing away from me, notice how my left hand will now keep the racket up here above my right hand. What you want is to have your racket head above your grip level so you create space but also store that energy and giving you the ability to accelerate later on. Because your racket is higher than your hand, it then has space to go down and through and into the shot. So here, as I'm taking the racket back, I'm gonna use my left elbow to take that racket back and get into that ready position, to that power position on my backhand. From here, I can let go and really hit the ball. You want to feel the weight of the racket in your left hand. Your right hand is not the one carrying the racket, it's your left hand doing the work for it. This is because we want to be as loose and relaxed as possible, ready to accelerate into the ball. If you're tensing before the shot on the take back, you won't be able to accelerate into the contact. So I take the racket back, stay nice and loose, carrying the racket with my left hand, and my right hand is simply placed in the correct grip on the racket without squeezing it or tensing it too much. Now if you want more help with your one-handed backhand, we have a free guide that can really help you out. All you have to do is click the link under this video, it'll take you to our landing page where you enter your email and we'll send you the guide straight away. Now where a lot of players go wrong is they release this left hand way too early. So they're in that power position, you've done everything correct up to that point, but then as you release, you now lose that symmetry with the hands working in sync. So it's important to almost imagine you're hitting a two-handed backhand from this position so that you actually have that racket drop while still holding the throat of the racket with that non-hitting hand. Now what this will allow me to do is it lets the hands work together, but it also allows me to have a slingshot effect. I'm almost pulling the racket back here and creating a bit of tension in the hand and in the racket head. If I release too early, now I've lost that tension. But if I hold it and I release at the very last second, right in that racket lag phase, this is where I can have that slingshot effect. So if you imagine the rubber band, we pull the rubber band back and then we release. Now as I go here, I'm pulling it back and then right before the contact point is when I release. Now as you're doing that slingshot move, when the racket is going forward, the left arm is now going back where you're squeezing your back muscles and you're using that law of opposite force where you're squeezing the back where you're allowing the racket to go forward this way but the left hand is counteracting that movement by going back. This is a vital move because from here you can generate a lot of force from your body and you're using your big muscle groups. Now it also stops you from over-rotating. By getting that left arm back, you're then 
unable to over rotate with your right shoulder. So it, it keeps you balanced for that shot as well as allowing you to generate a lot more power and topspin. Now it's that classic image that you see like of Federer, or Dimitrov, all the good one-handers where they're finishing nice and high with a hand where the racket has gone forward and across so their shoulder and chest is nicely opened up. Their back arm is all the way back and sometimes you even see the shoulders and the elbows almost like touching uh, at the end. When you do get to that finish, make sure you hold it for a split second. I often see players, especially at club level, kind of finishing and they're trying to prepare already for the next shot you don't have to rush get the finish make sure you've got it correct and then it'll help you especially when you're playing matches it'll help you memorize the move so if you're holding it at the end your body remembers this move it's the shot is then complete at this point it's not a finish and then get ready for the next shot finish it first feel that move hold that move and then get ready for the next one so here we have two drills to help you with that one-hander backhand and especially that non-hitting hand. First, we're gonna use the non-hitting hand to get up to the ball and then as you're hitting it, you're gonna be hitting it with two hands and then keeping that left hand by your side. So we're not gonna take it back too much. We're just gonna keep it there so that you get the feeling of what it feels like to take the racket back and go forward together with both your hands. Now for the second drill, you're gonna release it a little bit earlier. So you're gonna release it slightly before contact, giving you the ability to go back with your left arm and forward with your right. But here we're gonna make sure that we're gonna hold that finish, hold the finishing position of the racket head above your hand and your chest nicely extended in that finish. Thank you so much for watching the lesson guys. We hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure you tell us what you think of the lesson under this video in the comments below. We read each one and we try to reply to every single person. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from us. Anyway guys, we hope to see you soon on our next video. Thank you so much for watching the lesson. We hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Hopefully is the Again, sorry, gone. Yep. I forgot what I said now. I'm in a haze. Of course, subscribe to the channel and smash that. Ah! I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. Come on. Thank you for. Hey everyone, coach is Alex. I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> anyway, let us know how it goes. Let us know what you think of the video in the comments under the video. <laughs> Anyway, like the video, and of course, see you soon on our next video.